Live TV can be an extremely unpredictable medium that has caught many unforgettable and unbelievable events in the moments that they unfolded. Some of these moments resulted in unexplained mysteries, while others were debunked as being hoaxes rather than true stories. Many of these great events are still widely spoken about today and will forever be regarded as some of the greatest moments caught on live TV. Number 5. An unbelievable moment was caught on live TV while Ian McNaught Davis, a BBC television presenter, and John Cole, a British computer specialist, attempted to demonstrate the features of emailing, a concept that was still new at the time in 1983. The show in question was called Micro Live, a part of the BBC's computer literacy project, and the first episode was a two-hour special called Making the Most of the Micro Live. In the footage, Cole could be seen trying to access the program's BT Gold email account, and after making a few errors, he successfully did so. But after he managed to log in, the unexpected happened. Suddenly, text started to appear on the computer screen, prompting nervous laughter from the two presenters. They had been hacked on live TV, and the message that was sent read as follows. Quote, computer security error, illegal access. I hope your television program runs as smoothly as my program worked out your passwords. Nothing is secure. Hacker's song. Put another password in, bomb it out and try again. Try to get past logging in. We're hacking, hacking, hacking. Try his first wife's maiden name. This is more than just a game. It's real fun, but just the same. It's hacking, hacking, hacking. Hi there, Owlets, from Oz and Yug, Oliver and Guy. It would later come to light that before the show went live, the floor manager had read the account's password out to McNaught Davis while his microphone was on. Other visiting computer-savvy guests who were waiting backstage in the green room overheard the password and phoned a friend who hacked into the email account. No damage was done, however, and Cole was able to continue his demonstration shortly after. The BBC Computer Literacy Project would go on to become a massive success. Number 4 In 2020, 200 locals from an area known as Yaya Beach in Peru gathered for a vigil called Journey to Another Dimension. And what they witnessed during this live TV broadcast is considered to be an unexplained event. Yaya is one of the areas in Peru with the highest number of UFO sightings. This is what prompted UFO enthusiasts to hold a vigil in that area, and they were not disappointed. During the broadcast, a strange light appeared in the sky, causing the crowd to gasp in wonder. The Spanish presenter of the program can be heard asking everyone to stay calm, while he explained that they were seeing a rhombus-shaped light over a nearby hill. But soon he comes to realize that it isn't actually hovering above the hill, but above the ocean. As he and others watched on, the object increased in brightness several times before emitting one last blast of light, causing the crowd to cheer, with some of them shining laser pointers at it. As the object flares one last time, it becomes clear that it is indeed hovering above the waves. Many people who witnessed the broadcast stated that it's one of the best cases of a UFO caught on camera that has ever occurred, and the gathered crowd was certain that the source of the light was an extraterrestrial craft. Others, however, were more skeptical and stated that it may have been lights from a passing ship reflecting off the water. Whatever the case may be, the source of the light has never been confirmed and what they saw that night remains an unbelievable moment caught on live TV. Number 3 Pablo Escobar is known for being the founder of one of the world's most dangerous cartels that dealt in illegal substances, making Escobar the wealthiest criminal that has ever lived, with an estimated net worth of $30 billion at the time of his passing in 1993. One purchase that he made was an eight-story home where he and his family lived in luxury during the 1980s. But in 2019, it was slated for demolition when Colombian authorities decided to build a memorial park instead. But during the demolition process, cameras covering the event caught something strange happening in the house just before it was brought down. 
A strange white silhouette can be seen frantically running back and forth in one of the rooms that can be clearly seen from the outside. At first, it seems to move only in an open area of the house before it moves further into one of the rooms where it can be seen through an opening where a window used to be. Moments before the demolition takes place, it moves back to the open area and upwards as if it's climbing the back wall. The building then falls and the white apparition disappears into the debris. Some people who saw the broadcast were concerned that it may have been one of the demolition crew that was left behind in the building. But their concerns were quickly squashed when the demolition company stated that no one was hurt during the operation and all members of the crew were accounted for. He added that if it were one of their workers, he would not have been there waiting for the building to collapse and added that it was in fact a ghost that was scared of all the noise going on prior to the demolition. The footage quickly caused rumors to spread, with many people stating that it was the ghost of Pablo Escobar that was still inside the house, frantically trying to leave before the building was demolished. Others believed that it was merely a trick of the light, or that it was a piece of debris that was being flung around by the wind before the demolition took place. It's also not the first time that someone has claimed to capture the ghost of Escobar on camera. In 2018, a woman called Maria Del Mar was walking past the same building when she decided to take a photo of it, and when she inspected it more closely, she was shocked by what she saw. She describes the image as the spitting image of Escobar, with the exception that he had no eyes. She posted the photo to Twitter, stating that she didn't know what to think after seeing the ghost. She was met with skepticism, however, as many people claimed the photo was altered after they realized that she works as a graphic designer. The creepy footage has never been explained, and many people still believe that they witnessed the ghost of Pablo Escobar caught on camera. Number 2 On the 13th of December, 2006, a Belgian TV station had its regularly scheduled programming interrupted and replaced with a news bulletin in a strange but true hoax that left many of its viewers confused and reeling for answers. The hoax, also known as Bye Bye Belgium, was perpetrated by the French language TV station RTFB and the news bulletin claimed that the Flemish parliament had unilaterally declared independence from the Kingdom of Belgium. This was followed by interviews with Belgian politicians, many of whom were in on the hoax and hazy footage of King Albert II and Queen Paula boarding an Air Force plane to flee the country. This was accompanied by footage of pro-monarchy demonstrators waving Belgian flags outside the royal palace, and live footage of trams blocking Belgium's border. This meant that since Flanders had declared its independence, Belgium no longer existed. A hotline was set up by the station, and it was quickly inundated with over 2,600 calls and the channel's website saw enough traffic for it to crash. After about 30 minutes, the minister of the French-speaking community in Belgium insisted that a banner be placed at the bottom of the screen, informing viewers that it had in fact been a hoax. It would later be revealed that the hoax was created by journalist Philippe Dudiel, and that he'd been planning it for two years. The aim of the hoax was to create awareness in Belgium of the possibility of a split in the country an event that very nearly became a reality the following year. The incident was later condemned by many prominent politicians, who thought it to be an irresponsible act with the Prime Minister of Luxembourg, stating, this is not an issue you play around with. The station's information and ethics director defended the hoax by stating that it showed the importance of a topical political debate about the future of Belgium. Number 1 Colombian astrologer Moni Vidente has amassed a huge following thanks to the psychic and astrological predictions that she made on the popular TV show Sabadazo. One morning in 2016, she appeared on live TV, and an unexplained event occurred that defied belief. Moni claims that she gained the ability to predict the future after she was struck by lightning in 1989. She believes that she then gained access to a force that very few people in the world understand. And on this day, she was appearing on a show called Salé el Sol to predict the weather over the coming weeks. 
But as she and her fellow presenters discussed the weather, something strange happened behind them on the show's set. A part of the set located in a display area starts to move, seemingly of its own volition before crashing to the floor, leaving one of the other ornaments in the display swaying back and forth. At first, only one of the presenters seems to notice, and the rest of the panel can be seen listening intently to Moni, talking about the energy that is generated from angels with the camera now focused on her face. That is, until the presenter points to the area where the object came to rest. One of the other presenters then realizes what has happened, and he also points to it in astonishment. Moni later posted a clip of the incident to her Twitter account and quickly went viral with many of her followers stating their disbelief at what they saw. She would later state that while the show was being broadcast, she felt the auras of angels or a very powerful spirit moving by her. Many of her followers stated that they believe it was a poltergeist that was present in the building. Many people stated that they believed it was a ghostly apparition that had been briefly wrenched out of purgatory, causing the strange event that was caught on live TV. But others weren't so quick to believe in these supernatural explanations. Skeptics stated that the incident could have been caused by any number of factors, such as a breeze caused by air conditioning, or that it had simply not been fastened properly, causing it to come undone and fall to the floor. They claim it was a mere coincidence that Moni was discussing angels just as the prop started to move on its own. In 2021, she predicted the passing of a popular Mexican singer called Vicente Fernandez Gomez, and later she stated that Silvia Pinal would become ill. She contracted the COVID-19 virus shortly thereafter. In 2022, she predicted that the sun would become dominant over the entire Earth and that the planet will see many natural disasters throughout the year. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep up to date with all of our future uploads. But my name is Ty Knotts, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.